Okay, I was just watching the other video again, because that's what my computer does for me, and I noticed that on the cheeks right here, I put in too much skin color, and it doesn't look natural. So what you can do is shake it, and I have a whiteout pen! Woo! I don't know. I'm excited by that. So what you do is um, first make sure it works by dabbing out in your jeans and totally ruining them. That's okay. My jeans were only um, $15 at Walmart. I spent money on shirts, not jeans. Thank you. Okay, then you gently dab some out and you just smoosh it around and you say, oh goodness gracious, my imaginary Harry Potter character. You look so white cheeked. Oh. And then she'll be like, yeah man, I know it. And you're like, why? What has got you so white cheeked today? Because I'm so hot. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do talk to my drawings. Oops, sorry. But that's only in extreme circumstances. Usually it's me yelling at my drawings. Talking is for pussies. Yelling is for real men. Except I'm a woman, so it's okay. And you kind of go like that, and you're like, Shh. I did just make a laser effect sound. You can get over that, by the way. Okay. Now, without my cat jumping on my lap, you just kind of make sure it's settled. And once it is, you can take your color again that you had used before. And you just kind of go around the edges. Just to kind of soften that up. This isn't going to turn out well, but that's okay. This is just like stuff you can use for ideas. I'm not saying I'm an expert, and I'm not saying that I really know what I'm doing, because I really don't. This is just how I color. Trust me, if you consider me to be an expert, there's something wrong with you, because... Yeah. I don't know. I think I put on too much white out. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Now for the hair, um... I have two colors here. These are my Prisma colors. I have Spanish orange for my lighter color and yellowed orange for my darker color. You can kind of see the difference. I have an entire sheet of paper I dedicate to testing stuff, mainly, mainly writing stuff I feel like writing. Like I can pretend to be Japanese. See, I test out my colors here and sometimes I write in their names and I'm like, wow, I like these colors. So that's what I do. Well, I'm going to take the darker color, which is yellowed orange and I am going to start coloring the hair. And what I do to color the hair is I color it normally. Like all I do is I leave that room for white. So like if I wanted to have like white for highlights, I would leave room for that like right there. And I go like that. And I go like that. Oh, sorry. That and I color in here. This is not going to be a fantastic job. I'm sorry. I really wish I could have colored something better for you. Like that alabaster sea picture. Ooh, that was hot. I was very proud of myself. That was one of my few marker pieces I actually really enjoyed. Now that you have that down, go back and color here. And then you say, oh, Miss Lady, you need some stripies in your hair. So you give her some stripies, you just leave areas open unless you want some shadow. Basically, this is the time to define where you want the hairs to be, like, hair-wise. I know that makes sense, but you'll know what I mean. Like, these little stringy parts in here, sorry, like the lines that go down, those are kind of hairs, like representations of hairs. Oh man, I feel bad for this drop shadow for my light. Hold on, if you can bear with me for one second. I'm gonna turn my body. Oh, yeah. Refocus. Oh, much better. Different shadows. See how shadows are important? They also affect camera work. And then you just color. Now I'm gonna have to hold the camera in my mouth for a second. 
So hold on, I won't be able to talk, but you'll see me color. And yeah. holding my breath. Okay, so then what we do is move this and you basically, um, hold on, get reposition. Here we go. You basically darken the part right under the white. Like, darkening good. So that means you recolor a lot of times. You don't even need a new color. You don't even need a shadowed color. You just have your original color that you lay down as your foundation, which is so handy. You can define streaks and stuff. Doesn't matter. I don't know. I feel like that one painter guy that went to Vietnam and he came back and he was crazy and so he started that show and he was like, let's paint a little tree. I don't know. I feel like him. Except a lot less awesome. That guy's pretty awesome, though, you have to admit. He draws some really cool landscapes. Maybe one day I can draw landscapes like that, I don't know. So, more shadows. And I hope you can see where I'm doing these shadows. The really strong ones are right underneath the whites. Why is that? Oh, those are all my pictures falling over. Sorry. The reason that you do that is because that shows depth, I think. I don't know. I haven't had an art class in ever, so if I'm not making sense, there's probably a good reason for that. And it's probably because I don't know what I'm talking about. So you basically have that. Sorry, I have to reach over. And then you take your light color, which for me is Spanish orange and you uncap and this time you color on top of the highlights like on the top side so that they blend in with the hair and holy crap that is amazing how do I do this so good? I don't know it just happens <laughs> just kidding but basically, any areas that you had blocked off before with hairs for the dark that you don't want to actually be highlighted, but you want them to be lighter, you can color these with the yellow. So really, this part should have the most white because it's the most prominent. Her head is pretty big, so it sticks out. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that's my signature in case you couldn't tell. Just, it looked weird standing out like that. So you have that. And that's the hair.